Hi, uh, John Wanor here. Um, it's Sunday, the 15th of April 2004. I'm just doing a, a video here of 61 Cork Street uh, in Auckland City. Uh, the land here that I'm uh, investigating, the uh, titles uh, of um, uh, Doug Ricard Bell and Jamie Peters of the whole block here from Cook Street here, Nelson Street and Victoria Street down there and uh, the road going in, the public road going in that they transferred the title of the 11 investors into the road title of an old uh, survey plan <coughs> a redundant one with Seymour's name on it that was um, uh, surveyed by Australian surveyors, which was illegal at that time, that the uh, New South Wales government was selling all the land in Auckland. They had no right uh, or, or, of authority from Britain to sell any land here, Maori land. So all these lands were confiscated by the British Crown and reissued back through uh, a real estate company from Glasgow, Scotland, called the Manukau Land Company. Now, I have issues with that because we um, um, uh, went to register uh, Refere for Manukau and Mohi Manukau's ancestors who owns this land on land information uh, register and um, it got lodged but they declined it to put the interests of the original landowners, the Manukau tribesmen, onto their title. So I'm taking it a stage further now to, um, to seize on this title, uh, 61 Cook Street, uh, Auckland, and put it back into the hapu of the Manukau uh, uh, family, where it rightfully belongs to the uh, Manukau Pa, at Cornwallis, the new Auckland. This Auckland city was born out of Cornwallis, uh, where uh, the British uh, ships came in and landed there on the Manukau uh, settlement. And the people there and the British sold that land uh, before they came. And so they evicted the Manukau people off their own land. Now, I've got issues with that to re-establish the original titles back on this land with the Moai Polynesian Tahitian titles. The, the Moai is standing in the museum in Auckland. That's the head that's come from Rapa Nui to here, to East Cape, under the Wānoa spiritual people title. Now, Moai is standing in Queen Elizabeth II Great Court in London. That is our superior title over these lands and with the Manukau title included with that on the Aotea uh, uh, Waka uh, that came 200 years later than the Manukau tribesmen were already here uh, as the British sailed into the Manukau Harbour. Tainui Wakas sailed into the Manukau Harbour. And so Arawa sailed in to the Manukau Harbour from the Haraki Gulf. They slid their Wakas into the Manukau Harbour. So hence, the British used the real estate company in Glasgow called the Manukau Land Company to pre-sell these lands and reissue second-hand titles from the Bay of Islands, New South Wales titles when they sold these lands under their own uh, flag, uh, Union Jack flag, in the sea under maritime law. The bar of the courts, they brought their court off the sea onto the land. Now we have the Confederation flag here, uh, the 1835 Declaration of Independence flag, and I've just come from One Tree Hill 
flying the flag up there as the mana over Auckland Super City boundary area with this title, the first title we're going to investigate and bring up how they managed to get it out of $300 million of investors' money they lost. Okay? And our interest in this title with Maui, Wānoa, Manukau, Kafuru the Giant of Waikato, Aotea, and Parapara. Okay, so those are the titles that I'm, I'm expressing to you today, to bring them up today. The affidavits have been out there, not refuted. The titles to Auckland, not refuted. The Crown has not refuted any of the titles I've put together for the Manukau claim, Y121, and also the Maui claim, and the Kafaru claim on One Tree Hill with the plaque that you see on the video today that I've just made fresh from other videos that I've made of Mohi Manukau and his history expressing it to me. He gave me all his history to make it recorded and I have done that. Now the flag here, the confederation flag, I'll show you that that's the precedent over this according to the confederation from Waitangi Titi Marae and King Itaurua, their chief. Uh, uh, his uh, jurisdiction of this flag and the constitution from Ngāpuhi straight to England and the government of England uh, who gave this flag through King William IV jurisdiction from Westminster Parliament. So I'll just turn the camera that way so you can see the flag and I'll point out the boundaries of this block of land. It's 2.4 hectares thereabouts and this is what I'm going to get this back, land back into the hapu, into our ownership. And those people who have interest in this land, we will get that money from the Crown because they made a mistake. They have got buyer beware, you've got the wrong owners, right? You have selected uh, other chiefs other than the Maui and the Manukau titles. Okay, so Anybody can refute those, they haven't yet, and anybody, even the Crown, and everybody in this country has a right to try to refute the Maui claim, the Wānoa claim, the Manukau claim, the Kafaru Aotea claim. I'll put the flag around onto the camera so you can see. So, I just show you the flag. There is the flag they're flying on this piece of land. So that's our sovereignty of this country, the jurisdiction from England straight to the Marae at Waitangi, the highest court in these land is our Supreme Court. Okay, under our own law that we're expressing at the moment, under the Maori government and the Maori Confederation. That flag has precedent over all these lands in New Zealand. And I say that is Nelson Street there. Now the boundary goes along to, uh, over in the distance, that's uh, Victoria Street and the um, Sky City Tower there uh, of Auckland. That's sitting on Victoria Street. So you've got the, the land going, all those buildings there, uh, inside that 2.4 hectares. And it runs down to Sales uh, Street running along the front there and then it goes around so you've got all that lot there this is supposed to have been built in 2005 since then something has happened so we're going back into the Crown to investigate this title and so there's Cook Street going up the other way I'll just show you around now um, Cook Street now uh, that's Nelson Street coming into downtown and the street runs down that way. So now you can see you can see the area where this building's supposed to go up. It would be around about two billion now to develop. So we'll make sure it gets built um, um, as to plan. And uh, I will let you know. Uh, once I've got the titles back in front of the court, the High Court, to challenge these titles 
and whose land it actually is. It does not belong to Ngāti Whātua Aurake. Any of the lands in Auckland do not belong to them. They do not have the history uh, um, and they fail to refute our, our um, titles. And so Tainui has done the same too. They have ignored our titles. So now we'll take them to court. And this is our flag um, that we will uh, uh, use our authority straight from England. So we have our, uh, our uh, company, Ngātua Ewa Aotea Limited, that's um, uh, going to build charge debtor uh, Ngāti Whātua Aorake's company, Ngāti Pro's Iwi company. All the Iwis, Ngātua Ewa Aotea, will build debt charge you for uh, fabricating and corrupting the original landowner titles. Now the Crown went along with that and they're trying to settle the treaty claims now. You're on that side, uh, separate to the hapū. There are only certain people um, that are in the Confederation uh, with this flag uh, expressing, uh, uh, expressing our authority uh, right through from 1985 when uh, Mohi Manukau um, uh, started off the Confederation. And so um, uh, that has progressed and it has n never stopped uh, going. So we will continue uh, with that claim on this land. i just let you know that we are pursuing it now uh, with our company against their companies and the Crown's company. Her Majesty the Queen and Right of New Zealand and the Queen's Company, Buckingham Company. We build them now. Thank you very much.